Good morning, everybody. It's Julia Hurley here, owner of the Just Homes Group with Realty Executives Knoxville and Get Real, Get Right coaching business for you. Now, today we're going to talk about an email that I received, and it's a very interesting conversation. I'm going to keep it under three minutes for YouTube and attention spans because mine's about that long. But the email that I got today was very interesting. It was from a buyer wanting to know um, if I work for free, are real estate agents on the buy side free. So there's a script or a conversation that's taught to agents as new agents, which is, it works, is hire me as your buyer's agent, I don't cost you anything. Well, that's actually not true. So let's go over kind of how this system works, an FTT, if you will, a first this, then this. First, an agent gets a listing, right? The seller hires that listing agent, and that listing agent takes all the financial responsibility and duties on of promoting that property correctly and bringing the buyer's agent's attention and the buyer's attention to the property. But in this day and age, buyers can drive by the property. They can text, you know, for example, Just Homes to 59559 for any information they want on a property. They can look on Google, Zillow, Realtor, Trulia, the agent's websites, they can find out a lot of information about the taxes, et cetera, et cetera, on their own, right? There's a lot that buyers can do on their own, okay, without us. But here's the kicker. What you're paying for is our ability to negotiate the deal, negotiate repairs, negotiate issues, negotiate problems, and trust me, you will have them, okay? In every deal, it is what it is. It's legalese, and you must hire a realtor that knows how to do that. So the real estate agent on the buy side is actually paid at the end of the day from the proceeds of the seller's net gross profits at the closing table. Here's the kicker. The seller gets to count that off on their taxes as cost of sale. The buyer actually still pays the monthly premium or the monthly house payment to include the full amount. Now they do get to count off PMI insurance on their interest, et cetera, et cetera. However, at the end of the day, the buyer is the one bringing the full asking amount of that property, and that's what pays each agent's commission. So buyers, okay, buyers out here, please listen. Your agents need to understand how to represent you to the best of their ability, if not above and beyond. And you can do some really great research to find out who is the best buyer's agent out there in the market today, and who would be a better fit for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the one paying the commission because you're the one bringing the money to the table. So let's make sure that we are a good fit for you. You're a good fit for us. Go over a buyer's presentation plan and really delve into what's that cost of hiring the right agent and what's the cost if you don't at the end of the day. Would you pay more? Are you gonna pay less for a home? Are you gonna get the repairs you need? Do they have good relationships with other real estate agents in the market? What exactly are you getting for your commission here? So let's take that time. Let's research it together. Give us a phone call. We're happy to help. Justhomesgroup.com. Just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page, and I appreciate your questions on Instagram. It's Just Homes Group. I appreciate your emails. You all are amazing, and thank you so much for reaching out each and every week with your real estate questions. This is Julia Hurley with Just Homes Group, Knoxville, Tennessee. Bye.